द होयसालाज ऑफ द्वारा समुद्र इन दिस मॉड्यूल यू विल लर्न अबाउट द हिस्ट्री ऑफ द होयसालाज ऑफ द्वारा समुद्र द होयसालाज ऑफ द्वारा समुद्र केम टू पावर इन कर्नाटक आफ्टर द डिवाइडेड चालुक्य एम्पायर बिगैन टू डिक्लाइन Sala was the founder of this dynasty. Legend goes that he fought a tiger and killed it near Sosevuru village, present-day Angadi in Mudigere taluk of Chikmagalur district and established this empire. Vishnu Vardhana, an important Hoysala king, succeeded Nrupakama, Erayanga, and Ballala. He won Gangavadi from the Cholas and earned the title Talaka do Gunda. He built the Kirti Narayana temple in Talakad and Vijaya Narayana, Chenna Kaveshwara temple at Bellur, to commemorate this victory. He was later defeated by the Chalukyan king Vikramaditya the Sixth when he tried to expand the kingdom. Ramanujacharya came to Vishwanu Vardhana's court and under his patronage spread the message of Vishisht Dwaita sect in the whole of Karnataka During the reign of Ballala the 3rd the kingdom declined and the Vijayanagara empire came into power The Hoysalas have made significant contributions to literature education art architecture and irrigation The Hoysalas brought into practice the provincial system of administration. The prince, queen and the royal family had the power to rule. Officials looked after the administration of the Nadu and Vishayas and the representatives of the government like the Gauda, Senaboa and Talavara looked after the villages. The Hoysalas built innumerable lakes like the Shanti Sagara, Ballala Raya Samudra, and Vishnu Samudra to encourage agriculture. These were guilds among the people following different occupations. The main source of income for the kingdom was land revenue. The king had a special army of guards called Garuda who sacrificed their lives when he died the centers of education were agraharas marts and temples educational institutions were set up at melukote salagami and arasikere people learned the vedas vedas shastras kannada and sanskrit here Kannada literature flourished immensely during the Hoysala period. Jagannatha Vijaya was written by Rudra Bhatta. Raghavanka authored Harish Chandra Kavya, and Keshi Raja wrote Shabdamani Darpana. The great poet Janna wrote Yashodhara Charite, and Hari Hara composed the Champu poem. Girija Kalyana Memorable Sanskrit works were composed like the Sri Bhasha by Ramanujacharya and Sri Guna Ratnakosha by Parashara Bhatta The Hoysalas encouraged different religions like Jainism Buddhism Shaivism Vaishnavism Veera Shaivism and Sri Vaishnavism The Hoysala architecture is world famous and its influences are seen in all other architectural styles of the later years. Their temples were built in soapstone and had five features like the star-shaped sanctum sanctorum, upapita or jagati, decorative panels, shikhara and pillars. The brackets of the pillars of Chennakeshwar Temple at Bellaru have beautiful idols of 
मदर निकास और शिल बालिकास द होयसाले स्वरा टेम्पल एट हालिबिडू वॉज बिल्ड बाय द मिलिटरी जनरल केट माला द फेमस केशवा टेम्पल एट सोमनाथपुरा वॉज कंस्ट्रक्टेड बाय सोमदा नायका अरासीकरे गोविंदा नहल्ली दोड्डा गड्डावल्ली एंड भद्रवती हैव मेनी टेम्पल्स एंड बसाडीज विद एक्सट्रीमली डेलिकेट कार्विंग The famous sculptors of this time were the Soja, Chavana, Jakana, and Dankana. Let us now recap all the important points that we have covered in this module on the Hoysalas of Dwara Samudra and their significant contributions to literature, education, art, architecture, and irrigation.